Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator, Ambika Sharma. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about the new and the old version of MCRT and especially about their QR code. That what exactly is going on? What is there in the QR code of new NCRT? And uh, uh, is it indicating that there is a syllabus deduction? Is it indicating that the same syllabus, right? The complete syllabus will be there for NEET 2024. So this is what we are going to discuss today. So watch this video till the end because it will clear all your confusion. Number one. Secondly, this video is for droppers. This video is for those who are in class 12 but are preparing for NEET 2024 seriously. So other than that, there is no need to watch this video. If you are in class 11, please don't watch this video. Do not waste your time. Third thing, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe our channel. And do hit the like button and watch it till the end because it will clear all your confusion. First thing, you know that when you talk about the older version of NCERT, right, it contains, if I talk about biology only, it contains 38 chapters. And when you talk about the rationalized content, okay, when uh, it means the deleted chapters are there, deleted topics from some chapters are there. So, if I talk about the older version of NCERT, total 38 chapters are there in class 11th and 12th and in new version new ncrt six chapters are deleted so 32 chapters of nc 32 chapters of biology are there for your class 11th and class 12th three chapters are deleted from class 11th three chapters are deleted from class 12th that's the thing now if you will check the official website of ncrt right mostly you are going to find the new version of ncrt and even in the market new version is there right new ncrt is there Right. So students are thinking that might be now in their NEET 2024, the syllabus will be reduced and they will get the paper from the old version of the NCRT. That is the confusion. Okay. So now there is new confusion related to the QR code. I was checking out my telegram. One of my students sent me this. That ma'am, after solving each and every chapter, right, I always scan the QR code and then I solve the questions on the basis of that. So when I was doing it, right, from my new version of NCRT, I found that there are few uh, questions from the deleted chapters as well. So is it indicating that there will be no deduction? So after that, right, I, I, I thought that yes, I should make this video. So because many students can get confused about it. First thing, see when you see this, this is the QR code. What do you have to do? You have to scan it. These days in the phone, you know, pre-installed apps are there or you can install any app. You can scan this QR code, the PDF will open. That PDF will contain some questions or the solution. Basically, this is the role of this QR code. And every time we, we always mention it to our neat aspirants that when once you are done with your syllabus, right? And even after finishing each and every chapter, do scan the QR code and then whatever questions are given there, start practicing that. That will be good for you because they are official questions and the and then the paper examiner can ask you the question from that part, right? This is the advice and yes, you have to follow it as well. Now, what is happening when you talk about the rationalized content means the newer version of NCRT. If you talk about the chapter living word, this is the perfect example. Okay, so this is the perfect example. So when you are talking about this chapter, if you check the older version of this particular chapter, there is one topic named as taxonomical aid, right? There is one topic named as taxonomical aid. AIDS, right? In that book, this chapter, right? In that particular older version, this particular chapter was there. Taxonomical AIDS, this topic was there. But now in no new NCRT, you don't, you are not going to find it. You can try it after scanning this QR code. Now, I'll show you the result here. Wait. See, on official website, you will get these text resources from that QR codes. So let me, uh, so let's say if I'm talking about your chapter living board. So when I scan the QR code, that's what you are going to get. These are the questions. So you should solve it as well, right? This is the very important takeaway. You should solve these questions. So here you will see that there are some questions from the deleted topics like see botanical garden zoological park. It is the part of taxonomical aid, taxonomic key. It is also the question from the taxonomical aid, isn't it? Isn't it? So it's a deleted. So that student was asking me the same thing that ma'am, they have to delete it topics now. Then why? Why are they in the QR code? Why? So it means yes, there can be the possibility that there will be no deduction in syllabus or else maybe even it is not clear to our higher authorities. Even they don't know what are they going to do. Even they didn't decide anything on it. Because if in new version of NCRT you are getting the deleted question, it means there is no clarity yet. 
and even even we have the higher authorities to think about it it should not be your job to think that okay if older uh, if the questions from older versions are there older version is there so it means that uh, the old ncrt should we need to follow there is no need to think about it right literally there is no need to think about it you are just wasting your time right that is why i'm making this video please keep one thing in your mind that as of now there is no official update so if there is no official update you have to follow the syllabus of your last year information bulletin and as per that in that syllabus you know that it is as per old ncrt first thing and let's say now i i know in the market we do not have the new, uh, old version of ncrt so it is clearly indicating that these topics will be vanished from the syllabus no for this particular year you cannot say anything you literally cannot say anything right now there should be only one thing where you need to focus the proper preparation and let me let me ask you one thing do you think without reading old ncrt you can understand new ncrt it's a big no first thing secondly 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 other than that let me tell you uh let's say your higher authorities like official update from nta side maybe let's say it will come in the month of january imagine it it will come in the month of january then you will get an idea or your exam is there in the month of may so if and if, if in the month of february they will tell you that okay there is no need to revise anything from the deleted topics again you are going to save your time right so why are you thinking about it and let me tell you this thing very honestly you are going to feel bad about it but yes today i have to be honest that those who are watching such kind of videos those who are confused about old new old new old new they are not going to get selected if they will continue the same thing right those who are going to get selected in the neat 2024 they are just working hard they are just studying properly they are not wasting time by thinking uh, they are not wasting time on this topic right they are clear they are crystal clear that right now no official update so we have the old ncrt that we have to follow and we will we will cover our syllabus right they are not thinking about anything else and that's what you have to do okay if you are still confused because whenever i start the lecture on youtube even sometimes in our batch students ask it is a deleted topic do we need to do it yes you have to you have to because it is as for the last year information bulletin so please keep it in your head keep it in your mind please that's a request and this is not just the one example that i'm giving you here okay even if you will scan you can do it but don't be like that ma'am is saying na chalo we will try we will we will scan each and every chapter no there is no need to what should be the ideal way complete one chapter scan the qr code solve all the question complete one chapter scan the qr code solve one question that's what you have to do like if from class 11th if i have to show you see this is one another qr code and here you will get model answers to the descriptive questions see here they have given you you know one liners kind of things right they have given you the question and the answer questions and the answer questions and the answer so yes you should practice such questions because no doubt here one statement and two answers are given so they can even ask such question in the mcq format right and you might have noticed that officially it is the cockroach which is the part of our syllabus but sometimes we used to get question from the frog in earth form such questions are given here also right right so yes that is how you can use these qr codes whether it is new ncrt or old ncrt it will hardly take your extra 10 minutes right i know you do not have time right so instead of wasting time on such topics that new old new old new old start doing it start scanning the qr code and if there will be anything official let me tell you this will be the first channel to tell you that that yes this is the official update please start doing it okay so kindly 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 pay attention to your preparation only be that topper right being topper doesn't mean you have to always get the first rank you have to crack your neat examination your competition is you okay and just give your back so so give your best and please in the comment section this is what what i want from you people that ma'am yes we will be focused we will not waste time on such topics okay scan the qr code use that questions for your practice but not to waste your time same things are there in you know some class uh, 12th qr codes as well okay one by one individually you can check it but how after finishing one chapter scan the qr code solve the question so that's what you have to do so i hope your confusion is solved now please now just start your uh, preparation properly do not think about that deleted chapters just enjoy your learning right so stay tuned do watch this channel and do share this video with others and moreover bachche 
here you guys can see something very amazing right your hsp sir your hsp sir has started his batch that is your chemistry mind maps by hsp sir and if you are the part of this batch surely you will get 180 out of 180 in chemistry so don't miss the opportunity to join this particular batch link uh, you know it will take some time to appear here but yes it will right the link is functional so you, what you have to do you have to add your number your email id and you will be the part of this batch after paying the fees so thank you so much stay tuned take care and remember what you have to write in comment section and that should be a promise from your end thank you so much